Hey everybody, I hope that you are doing well, that you had a wonderful month of October. Mine was sort of uneventful. It went by way too quickly. Um, but I did want to share with you a few of my top favorite most amazing products that I found in October. So if you're interested in seeing what I've loved, uh, keep watching. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I did want to share with you though a couple of personal favorites um, from the month of October. Um, on the 7th, my husband found out that he passed the bar, which is super exciting. Um, and if you are unaware of what the bar is, it's just a, a big, big test that um, if you want to become an attorney, uh, you have to take the bar. So after you graduate law school, at least in the state of Tennessee, um, you have to take the bar and then you become an attorney. Uh, so that happened and then he also got a job as well. So um, we, I was very confident about him passing the bar, but we didn't know that he would get a job so soon. So it's an absolute blessing um, and our lives are, we're really happy right now. Um, so if you care about us personally, we are very happy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with my favorite items of the month. Um, the first one I want to talk about was a gift from my husband. It is a Chanel Compact. It's their um, translucent powder. Well, semi, not really translucent. Um, it's in the color translucent too, so it's the lightest um, powder that they have. Um, it's not a loose powder. And um, one day he just said, I want to get you something fun. and. Um, he took me to the Chanel counter and bought me a present. So that was exciting. Um, what I love is that it's in this little velvet pouch. So um, you feel it's like a special thing. It's a very ladylike thing. Um, products are not made this well. Products are made with this much thought nowadays. It's um, just very well made. Although I must say it didn't come with a little poof or a brush. So um, I had to purchase my own to apply the actual powder. But whatever. I love it. And I keep it in my purse. I don't use it to set my makeup. Um, but I do use it to touch up during the day if I feel like I'm a little... I'm using Laguna by NARS as my bronzer for the past year. Um, but once I hit, which this is not it, um, once I hit pan on it, it started to break into little pieces and then I could not rescue it any longer from its life of bronzerness. <sighs> life of bronzerness. Okay. Uh, anyway. So I went to Target to find the cheapest sort of dupe that I could get. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I wanted to wait a little bit until I purchased an expensive bronzer or a high-end bronzer. But now I don't feel like I have a need to. Um, I found this. It's by Rimmel. It's our natural bronzer and the sort of come off a little bit. Um, it's in the color Sunlight. And what I do like about this product is that it doesn't have any shimmer in it. There aren't any shiny bits at all. It's completely matte. So um, this time of the year when it gets colder out, I like to contour more than give myself like a sun-kissed glow. Um, Laguna is great for that. It has some shimmer. It makes you look like you've been in the sun and have a suntan. Um, but this is great because I have a more round face. And so I like to contour and make my my face look like it has some actual shape going on. Like I actually have cheekbones. Um, so yeah, this is great. It retails for three or four dollars. Um, depends on where you get it. Depends on whether or not you have a coupon. Um, but I purchased mine at Target. So I'm really excited. If you're interested in trying bronzers just in general, this is a great one to start with, especially if you don't want a lot of shimmer on your face. And then moving into a similar thing, um, it's the Hard Candy uh, Baked Blush in the color Pin Up. Um, this retails for about $6. I got mine at Walmart and I actually purchased it over a year ago. Um, I had seen a girl on YouTube wearing, when I would watch her I would admire her blush and think, I want my blush to look like that. What is she wearing? And one day she mentioned that she was wearing this. So I made up an excuse to go to Walmart and um, purchase this. It's only $6. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, and so I used it for a while and then I stopped and got on something else, but then have recently fallen in love with it. Um, it doesn't look too crazy special um, in the actual packaging. Um, to show it to you, it would also not look too crazy. Um, it has a really great sort of sheen to it. It works really well as a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. Um, whenever I found myself like I'm rushing and I don't have time to do all of the steps that I want to do normally, I will put this on and I'm done. So it's sort of like set it and forget it, you know. Um, 
It's like a crock pot. No, it's not. It's not like a crock pot. It's a blush. So anyway, um, I have really grown to love this product. And if you're interested and don't want to purchase a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter, this is um, your best bet, I promise you. Um, I really enjoyed this. And they have different shades. I'm sure that if you had a very rich, warm, like a darker skin tone, it would just look so lovely. Um, so that's a uh, new found, new refound love. Yeah. Um, along the lines of the face, um, I had purchased this Carez concealer at the end of September and didn't want to include it into my September favorites just because I felt like I hadn't used it enough to really give you a good like little review on it. Um, it is in their lightest shade Fair and as you can tell it's very light and um, it's quite thick as well. Um, I had previously used Sonia Kashuk's concealer palette. Um, the problem that I found with it is that I only used one of the colors out of the entire palette. Sometimes I would use the other ones but mainly I would just use the one and then I ran out of it and I thought for the price that I paid for just that little bit of concealer, it wasn't worth it. So this was $19, I got this at Sephora. Um, I wanted to get the Benefit brand concealer, but um, was really sort of turned on to this because the um, Sephora helper lady said that it was a natural brand, which I had no idea about. So I thought the fact that this goes on a very delicate part of my face underneath my eyes, to have a natural product, um, it just it was really inviting to me. I wanted something healthy and natural under there. I don't know why, but that was something that just sort of made a difference. Uh, the next one is a product I received in my September Birch Box by Blink. Um, this is a mascara that um, ha their claim to fame is that you don't paint your lashes, but you tube them. And um, when I first saw the product um, and saw the wand itself, I thought that is uneventful. Like that's a very sort of not great wand. I didn't know what to expect. Um, but the very first night, the very first day that I used it, I took a shower that night and washed it off. And what I have to say is the most amazing thing about this is the formula. Um, so I was washing my face off that night and felt like once I, you know, looked at my hands, all of my eyelashes were on my hands. And I was flipping out like full on, I'm going to sue your company mode because you made me lose all my lashes. And they're so light in the first place that I don't feel like I have any eyelashes, but like I really didn't think I had any because of this. Um, but it turned out that how it works out with this brand is the formula makes it so that they are coated completely. So they're waterproof, they don't smudge, they don't break, they don't fall off you know, underneath your eyes after three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's waterproof, so you can swim with this. You can sweat in it. You can go to spin class and still be wearing this stuff. It's amazing. Um, but you have to use just some face wash, some sort of makeup remover to get it off at the end of the night. And it doesn't leave some sort of a residue. So I don't know about you, but for me, when I take off my mascara and my, um, my eyeliner, there's always just a little bit of color left. Um, and you don't get that with this. So I was sort of sad. Well, I mean, I was sad when it ended. Um, I used it throughout September when I received it in the mail and then through October. Um, well, um, it's by Neutrogena and it is for acne. Um, we originally purchased this for my husband and then it was in the shower, so I used it. And I fell in love with it. It has tiny micro beads in it. It's like a light green, blue color and you can see I mean we've used it up we need to buy some more um, and we purchased this at the beginning of October once you um, what I try to do is I wash my makeup off first and then I put this on as like a sort of a deep clean get in get in and get the grubby stuff out you know um, and you, if you let it sit for just a moment like just a minute it will start to have a cooling sensation like come on your face it's amazing um, it doesn't tingle like it's burning it, it never gave me a rash it, it hasn't um, it it doesn't irritate my skin I have very very sensitive skin and if I use something that's too abrasive it will dry my skin out and this doesn't do it I feel like my skin is refreshed after I use this stuff I was really surprised and my husband loves it as well um, I think it was about six dollars I think that's how much it is which for some reason I don't want to pay that for a face wash it's ridiculous 
I pay $5 for a coffee but not $6 for a face wash that I can use for two months. I don't understand myself sometimes. But this stuff is great. <laughs> All of that to say, this is a really great product um, and I highly recommend it. So if you have sensitive skin, slightly dry, give it a try. And if you have acne, definitely give it a try. Woohoo! Let's just keep on trucking. Um, this is for the hair. This is by Kerastase. It's their Nectar Thermique. Um, this brand is known to be a really great uh, excuse me, brand. They are under L'Oreal. Um, my mom gave me this product at the beginning of the year and I loved it. I was super excited about it because it was Kerastase and I had heard so, so many amazing things and wanted to try their, um, their shampoo and conditioner. But, unfortunately, this is a heat protectant, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. This is just a creamy conditioning heat treatment. Um, and I don't dry my hair. I typically will wash it before bed and then it'll dry overnight. Um, and so I don't dry my hair. And then by the time it's dry, I don't want to put in a thick, creamy conditioner type of product in it. I don't want it to get greasy. Um, but one night after the sh after I got out of the shower, I decided to put this in my damp hair and thought, you know what, whatever happens, happens. But I need to use this stuff because it's awesome and, you know, it's great and things. So, whatever. Anyway, I tried it um, and I really worked it into my ends and I really, really tried to make sure that my hair was conditioned correctly. This was after I had deep conditioned my hair, mind you. I mean, I really, really wanted to work on my hair and um, it's worked some some good things into my hair, some really great things. Um, yeah, not too much. I don't put it into my roots. That would probably make it oily, but I just work this into um, just the ends of my hair, probably from the earlobe down, and just really try to make it as um, as soft and supple um, as and possible. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was a person, band, show, record favorite all of it into one beautiful bundle and that is Zoe De Chanel. So um, she's an actress and if you're not familiar with her by her name, um, you might know her by her face. She was in Almost Famous and Elf. Um, she's been in a lot of different things and um, so she's also in a new show right now called New Girl and it's on Fox. It comes on Tuesday nights like 7 or 8 o'clock at night I think. I think it's 8 central time. And um, I totally understand her humor. I feel like the way she talks, the way she acts, the way she holds herself is exactly the way that I do for myself. Um, it's, it's just great to find a show that you feel like you can relate to. Aside from the fact that I don't live with three men, you know, and I'm sort of kooky. But yeah, um, love that. And then um, on as a side project, she is a part of a band called She and Him, and they have two records out that were released a little while ago, Volumes 1 and Volume 2, but then they just came out with a few days ago their Christmas album, so it's a very She and Him Christmas, and it is already on full rotation in our house, so whenever we're in the car and it's sort of colder at night, we will turn on the Christmas album. We're crazy Christmas people, like, we, we just are. We really love Christmas, and it's a really good album, so... I don't know what else to say, but those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe got a couple of ideas of some things you'd like to buy. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful November, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.